Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 26 of the Disgaea 5 LP. Uh, I made a mistake and went to the uh, travel guide in between episodes and accidentally procced uh, the next cutscene. So I'm just going to go in here, and like an idiot, I forgot to change it off Japanese again, because I'm an idiot. So I'm going to actually get off of there because now, now that I've just and completely shown everyone that I'm a complete fuck up and sorry, <laughs> please don't hate me. Um, you know what? While I'm here, might as well change this. Let's see. What do I like? What do I like? Um, I don't really like any of these people. Um, I kind of like Peta, so she's gonna be it for a little bit. I might go back to Asalia because Asalia is best girl. Um, okay. Hello. Memories. Hi, hi. Thank you for acknowledging me. I'm very happy. Where's the spear? Can you guess what this event is about? All right, then let's get going. Where did the rest of the spears land? From the Prinny's information, we have located one of them. What is it, sis? It looks like you want to say something. They say bad things always happen one after another, but this goes beyond mere coincidence. It's Usalia's homeworld. Toto Bunny. A magical spear is in Toto Bunny? And if that's not enough, the magical spear is being protected by an army of corpses led by Demon General Margarita. That little brat! Yes, this is quite problematic. To destroy the magical spear, we won't be able to avoid fighting her. And she has far more strength at her disposal than we do. <laughs> Aren't you forgetting something, Lil Sisto? I can now super handle Majorita with one hand tied behind my back! Speaking of which, I remember you rambling on about how you could split another world in half if you regained your original power. Yeah! That's a piece of super cake! Oh, does that mean I don't have to face her directly? I could just destroy the netherworld instead! That's a really large-scale strategy. Destroying the Netherworld. I didn't even consider that. Hmm. It's not a bad idea. You are quite a demon. What are you talking about, Christo? Aren't you a demon too? Of, of, of course. I'm the most demon of any overlord. I'm just a little more refined. Why are you so rattled? <laughs> well, imagination is what really matters. Okay, then. Just let me get ready. Oh, hold on a second, everyone. Please don't destroy Toto Bunny, Blip. Toto Bunny is Usalia's homeworld. Oh, Usalia is going to be sad if it's gone, Blip. Oh, <laughs> Usalia, he was just joking. Splitting another world in half? Do you really think a muscle head could have that kind of power? But don't you think you took your joke a little too far, old man Magnus? Whoa, whoa! Were you really going to destroy it? Those aspects of your personality haven't grown at all. Don't worry, Usalia. We protect netherworlds. That's why we fight. Whether it's Majorita or Bloodus who awaits us, it doesn't change what we have to do. We'll destroy every single magical spear that Void Dark has launched. Okay, so now we know we're going to Toto Bunny, and that is the uh, main area of this chapter. So that's good to know. Um, Where would you like to let's go, go dude? check out. Uh, I'm gonna do the events. I'm not. I didn't forget about that. Uh, Toto Bunny, another world for demons who love peace. It's known for its green pastures, and it looks like a carrot. It's just shaped like a carrot. I like how, like, none of the netherworlds, like, are, like, sphere-shaped. Like, look at this. That was the shape of a goddamn, like, martini glass or sh margarita glass or something. Like, they're not, like, this is the only, like, spherical one. And even then, it has a really massive flower that would probably throw off its gravity. Uh but, uh, so now they're going to be talking about Madrida because, as one can imagine, uh, with 
this being Toto Bunny and Toto Bunny being Asaya's homeworld and Madriga being like her main antagonist, she's most likely going to be the final boss of this map set. So now they're just kind of trying to find out if uh, Madrita has any weaknesses and whatnot. But no, Zerogan just knows some like backstory here. And uh, yeah, she was a war orphan, lived a tough life. So one would, uh, this kind of gives a, uh, uh, a little inside look into sort of why uh, Madrita would want a utopia without war. Because it's like, well, if she's a war orphan, war kind of destroyed her life. But then you get the flip side where, like, because you don't want it to happen, you're doing it to other people. And you're being a complete asshole about it as well. And you can, uh... And this is all just talking about how it's like, regardless of what her past is like, it's still like unforgivable that she's doing what she does now. And it's like, okay. Uh, there are any more meaningful rumors, like about her weaknesses. You seem really caught up with that. Oh, she does have a weakness, apparently. either. This one seems legit. It's totally legit. She doesn't like carbonation. Doesn't like carbonate. She, so she doesn't like sodas, essentially. Like bubbly liquid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, those questions are open for about an hour or two of a how that information could possibly be of any use to us in combat. I mean, I think... If you're able to destroy an entire netherworld, you should be able to figure out how to get carbonation to work with you. So, um, awesome. not sure. I did some stuff in the squads, so, uh, got innocent aid all the way up. I uh, did skill training all the way. Uh, those are still there. Didn't do anything there. Full, not full. Uh, I did this one just because. Uh, because I had some people and I was like, you know what, let's just drop them in there. So, now I can press Y to see enemy thoughts. Uh, I'm not sure if I need people to be in the squad to get it. I probably do, but it doesn't really matter. Did some of this because it was pretty not, like, cost heavy. Um, and with that, let's go to Toto Bunny. Where would you like to go, dude? Oh, I'd love to go to Toto Bunny, dude. Tranquil Castle Wall. So you can see, like, in the picture right there, it looks really nice. Like, it looks like, uh, sort of like a medieval fantasy town. Doesn't look like a netherworld at all. So this is Usalia's homeworld, Toto Bunny. Unlike Scorching Flame, it doesn't have any signs of battle damage. Toto Bunny is a peaceful land for demons who prefer peace, Plip. When Majorita and her lost soldiers invaded, they didn't resist. They obeyed her orders. Christo, do you know where the magical spear landed? According to my clairvoyance, the spear hit the center of the castle. Looks like he's for real. Look at that. Hmm? Is that the rebel army? This is great. My opportunity to one up Bloodis. <laughs> My habitually outstanding behavior has been so great. Good luck is rushing to be at my side. Since they've already spotted us, we have no choice but to go guns a-blazing. I wish we had a more thought-out strategy, but it can't be helped. It seems like it's back to our usual routine. Ah! Uh, 
Are these the corpses Majorita controls? You're a demon, and you're scared of corpses? This is one of Demon General Majorita's tricks. Anyway, can somebody do something about the smell? I won't! I won't forgive her, Blip! Usalia. My home. My people. My mother and father. She took everything away from me. And on top of that, now she's trying to take Toto Bunny's energy. Never! I'll never forgive her, Blip! I... I understand how you feel, Usalia. But let's calm down a bit, okay? Acting out of anger is dangerous. You'll be falling for Margarita's trick. There is no way I can calm down! Usalia hates her very, very, very much and wants to get revenge, Blip! Wait, Usalia. <sighs> Come on, let's go. Okay, so now we get to see Usalia being like the vengeful, rageful. Oh my god, I forgot about this. Yeah, this map is uh, this map's a doozy. It's very much a AOE map, which oh yeah, and I leveled. I'm just gonna go put that one out there. Uh, it's very much a uh, sort of like perfect for Usalia in ways. I also leveled up her move, I believe, so now she can go bait. Um, yeah. So I'm just gonna take them out. Let's uh, go. And then, see, now it's like, okay, which way is like the best possible way to take out people? Like, what move to use where? Because uh, I could use like an X move to try and get those guys instead of uh, the uh, square by square. Square by square. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's what I want. That's what you wanted to say, Brian. No, the uh, three by three square. I will never um, run away anymore. But, uh, yeah, this this entire map is all about just getting rid of as many people as quickly as possible because they have uh, poison moves. So you don't want anybody, like, going. You don't want people to attack you. <laughs> Because poison is definitely more dangerous than any, like, uh, arbitrary amount of damage that they could give me. <laughs> um, no. But, one uh, thing that I wanted to talk about, because I just thought it was kind of interesting, and uh, very much trophy, is how, uh, in anime and whatnot, and in JRPGs, because, you know, they're just essentially video game anime. Uh, is how, instead of, like, it's always forgiving. Like, I, how, like, the most extreme, like, portrayal of anger is the act of not being able to forgive someone for any given action that they have committed. And I always thought that was kind of interesting, because it's like, why should you even care about, like, their forgiveness? Me, it would be like, I would say a more angry thing would be, I'm literally going to murder them so hard that they'll wish that I was not the one that did it. <laughs> like, it's always, uh, it's always one of those, like, movie villain things, or tropes, where, uh, it's like, if you follow what I want you to do, I'll make your death quick. But if you don't, it will be long and drawn out. And I always thought of that as like definitely more, uh, more intimidating. Whereas like the forgiveness one is very Japanese. It's like, okay, yeah, I'm not gonna forgive you for this action, but why would you in the first place? Like, why was that even, like, why do you even need to specify that? Because, like, with, with the amount of shit that, that she, Majorita, has done, yeah, you wouldn't forgive her. Like, nor should you, because, really, she has essentially laid waste to an entire planet of people and spited you 
almost directly, well, essentially directly. Like, I don't like you, so I'm going to make your life worse because of it. So I just, I wanted to just talk about that, because, like, forgiveness is, to me is always definitely one of those, uh, concepts where you either need to be a really nice person or the thing that they did was not serious. And by no means are all the characters in this game like super nice people. They're just nicer than most other demons. Kusalia is probably one of the nicer people in this game, but it's just like in the real world it's like, you get some, like, uh, I don't want to say strange people, but you definitely do get the ones where it's like, okay, like, th this person has greatly uh, affected me. Like, they have murdered someone close to me, or they've done something really bad to me as a person, but because I am a nice person, I can find it in my heart to forgive them. Or... Like, it's just not serious at all. It's a very small thing. Where, like, oh, they they just forgot about some action that they did. It didn't really mean anything. And giving forgiveness isn't a big deal. But then, like, the... These... Like, anime and stuff, they always make it be like, Oh yeah, like, you always had a chance for forgiveness before you did this super bad thing. And I'm like, that, that doesn't... To me, that's kind of odd. Like, there are certain actions where it's definitely... You're never getting forgiveness for it. I don't care. Like, you, you touch certain people in my life, you do certain things, you... Like, there's absolutely no way I'm ever going to forgive you. And I am going to go... All taken up on your ass and you are going to die. <laughs> Like, I'm not, I'm not taking anything less than your utter demise as my reward. But that's all besides the point. So I've, been, I've just been steadily working through these guys. Still have quite a few more to go. Luckily, the my star counter isn't all the way up. It's not, like, super high. And I'm getting a lot of shards, because, uh, revenge meter. Um... But, uh, these guys still are somewhat able to take attacks from certain characters. Like, it's not, uh, one and done yet with everybody. Um, see, what I find annoying is with magic, um, it doesn't auto put it to the magic weapon. Uh, because you can, you don't need a weapon specifically to use magic. But if I use, like, a sword skill, it will auto-equip a sword. Because you need it. And I just kind of find it a little bit annoying. Because then, because sometimes I'll pull out my, like, magic printy. But it'll have the, uh, like, attack uh, monster weapon on it. And it's like, oh, I wish you... I wish you had uh, told me that I was on attack before me going into the magic menu. Because now my DPS is super low. And I thought, like, oh, that my character is weak. It was just my item was absolute shite and gave me nothing to intelligence. Okay. So. Um. You! You! It's gonna have a Sorokin tower. Shotgun craft. Just getting all these shards. God, his regular attack brings back 200%. Like that, or 200, 200%. Brings back 200, over 200 SP. That's awesome. Like, I really should just... Ooh, I got I found, I found. got a scroll okay. naturally. I got a level 9 naturally. I didn't even do anything special. God, that was a lot of people. S Sir Kilia! Osalia is acting weird. She ran out of curry! 
It's all right. I knew this would happen. I prepared a lot of curry. <laughs> That's my Circilia. And in a pot, too? How dynamic. Your style is simply enchanting. As always, where do you hide that stuff? <laughs> Don't you know, old man? The word impossible isn't in bro's vocabulary. Well, I'd say it's more incomprehensible than impossible. But we don't need to discuss such precise details. Let's give this to Usalia. Sorokin, bring Usalia over here. All right, leave it to me. Here we go. <laughs> here she is. <laughs> doing, Usalia? Have you cooled off a bit? The curry warmed me up, but my spasms have calmed down. That's not what I meant. I understand your hatred of Majorita, but don't let it drive you to do anything reckless. Uh, I'm sorry, Blib. Don't rush yourself. We're all heading in the same direction. We're all heading toward the people we want to get revenge against. So you don't need to carry everything on your shoulders. You're right, Clip. I'm sorry for making you guys worry. Well, I'm not one to talk. Okay, so now uh, we have done that, and I do I do like how it's like bring her over here. Just picks her up and throws her into the pot. It's not even Let's like a. Fix you up. <laughs> doesn't he? Because like, I don't think they wanted to give the impression that you could like walk while what? you're in like tower formation. Because that's all it was. Because they essentially just use the same sprites for everything. Like in battle, out of battle, it's all the same. And I love, I love them for it. Like they're just like, oh yeah, like we're not gonna do a new engine for it. Like you either get the. Like the sprites like that, or you're getting, or you're getting the like the pictures of them. Like you're not getting anything like super good. Like you're not getting anything different. You get what you get, and that's the way it's going to be throughout the entire game. Uh, well, it looks like they don't both want to be captured, so uh, I shall I shall murder them. I, I do like doing the over uh, the overlord battles and then kill and then go, capturing go, their people yeah. it's just like oh your your people weren't super loyal to you they're mine now how do you like that you, you like, like it when I take your people <laughs> but it really sit, stinks for you when you think that your people aren't loyal to you so I'm gonna I'm gonna capture them and they're gonna be my bitches now. And you're a weak overlord. Yeah, you're level 251, but you're really weak. <laughs> you're really weak, even though you're, you're a higher level than my entire team. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> oh, you died because you're a bitch. Oh, your bo your boss is dead. You want to come with me? Oh, I think you do. Oh, creeper mode activated. Get in my giant flying saucer. You okay? And then, and I do like how it's like, oh, I just did another battle, so now this one is finished. Or no, uh, that uh, it always gets me because I'll like do a battle, and it's like, oh, cool, another one completed in the town. It's like, no, it's the same Netherworld, just let's fix you up. Uh, just uh, another time, because uh, it counts as completed again for some reason. Um. So I have one ship back, and I believe, yeah, there's someone there already. Uh, research. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, I'm, I'm sending a magical ring with them, because I'm not, I'm not really doing much with him. So might as well, that way he can at least get some XP. 
Um, so, let's save menu. Oop, not cool. I do like Peta's, uh, because the, the save icon is literally just their, like, cutaway team attack sprite, and I do, li I do like hers. Although I like all of them, because I just like... I, I like the character designs in these games. Like, there are very few, like, designs I dislike. Like, they're generally all pretty damn awesome. Like, I do like the way that they individualize slimes. Because, like, you get the... You get, like, slimes are a common enemy in RPGs in general. And you'll have, like, the, uh... The Dragon Quest slime, where it's like, oh, the blue slime, you get the metal slime and whatnot. And that's, like, a common slime. And you would imagine, like, most of them... But this one, it's like, oh yeah, we're just gonna give him a skull and horns. That way, had that way he has like definitive sight holes. Like, he's slime, but he still sees. Like he is, a, he has a face. Uh, I, I just like it because it's very unique. It, this guy very much like carved out its own place in the JRPG like kingdom. And it's a very good place. Like, I like it. It's awesome. a very good franchise. And it, it's been going f several games strong. Had remakes. And I don't think that the, they're doing bad. I'm pretty sure they're actually doing pretty decent. I mean, NIS uh, Nisa America always tweets about, like, new games that are coming out. Some of them I'm going to buy, some of them I won't. I won't tell you which ones. Because then I kind of feel bad. Because it's like, oh, why didn't you buy this game? It was, like, super awesome. And it's like, ah, well, I just didn't, uh... Wasn't sure if it was my type of game, man. Because that's always the thing. Like, whenever a friend says, oh, yeah, you should totally play this game. You should totally play it. Like, it's always like, uh... Like... I'm not sure how I feel about it. Uh, so, now Zoroken... Because Zoroken's always sort of, like, the last to know. Because he was the last member to join. It's like, oh, yeah, the... You're cursed to eat. you have to eat curry, so it's regulated by the curry. But uh now he's asking, well what defines it as curry? And it's like, oh yeah, that that is very interesting, right? Uh it doesn't seem to like it has to be curry with rice. It can just be over something else. Just by drinking the curry roux. <laughs> she doesn't know it actually counts, and that's kinda unique. <laughs> Sounds like fun messing with your curse. Let's <laughs> let's just do stuff. It's a curry bread. It's delicious. Curry flavored snack called Namaste flavored Mr. Maharaja. <laughs> I can't stop eating it. Do you hear what I said? What about that? It's called Chef's Special Hash Beef Rice. <laughs> it doesn't even have curry in its name. <laughs> yeah, not even curry. <laughs> so what's the verdict? Uh, you know, let's just, let's just leave it. Let's let's leave it. <laughs> we don't need to know. I'm sad. Um, let's go to the Innocent Farm. So right now I have a statistician mentor manager. Because I was like, you know what? I'm not going to rely on them being born. And right now my Durandal is <laughs> level 51. And if I equipped it, it would be super strong. Like, so brokenly strong. And I probably will at some point. But this is just my... Well, this was my item to, uh... To essentially grind out people I wanted to, uh... Capture. And it still probably will be. Just not right now. It most likely it would be the thing like I use to grind out levels. Because I may reincarnate some more, uh... May not. I'm not sure. <sighs> Isn't this the courtyard of the castle? It looks more like a garden than a courtyard. Looks like they were growing crops here. Are these carrots? Carrots? Yuck, I hate carrots. <laughs> what a childish opinion. 
Looks super delicious! Since we're here, let's take them home and put them in the curry. I don't want carrots! My, do you not like them? How unexpected. I've heard that the citizens of Toto Bunny love carrots. You're mistaken if you believe that all rabbits like carrots, Plink. Yeah. I don't understand why people eat those disgusting carrots. C carrots aren't disgusting, Plink. You don't like carrots, but you don't think they're disgusting? Is this some kind of riddle, Lil Usa? If I don't keep reminding myself that I don't like carrots, I'll cause a lot of trouble for everyone, Flip! What do you mean? I should have told everyone this sooner, Flip. The spell that was cast on me makes my condition accelerate if I eat carrots, Flip. So eating curry, which you hated, delays the effects of the spell, and eating carrots, which you loved, accelerates it. That little girl, Majorita. She's clever when it comes to making things unpleasant. I had no idea, Usalia. You're so small, but you have so many tough problems to deal with. I'm okay, Flip. I'm used to it now. My mother and father must have had it way worse than Usalia. They obeyed Majorita, having to work day and night for Usalia's sake. If I was stronger and had it together more, I wouldn't have clumsily let her cast that spell on me. It's all Usalia's fault, Flip. All of it. It's... all... I bet my mother and father really hate me, Flip. Usalia, crying about it isn't going to solve anything. First, you have to take care of these corpses, who are entering your castle with their shoes on. Usalia isn't crying, Flip! <laughs> That's the spirit. Usalia has to be strong until I get revenge for my parents! Okay. So they, they touched upon one of the things that I think is very true. Like, out of all the characters in our group, Usalia really got, like, the shortest end of the stick. Like, out of all the problems, hers are, like, easily some of the worst ones. Um, and one thing i just like to point out is, like, I really like this map set because the maps are so simple. Like, it's not like, uh... Not like there's you have to throw everywhere, you have to do all these things, you have to avoid the geo panels and whatnot. It's just like, nope, here here's a flat map, and here's some people on it. And this map is actually interesting because this map uh, shows up in the item world because there's a tile set uh, very much like this, uh, and you can actually do like a bonus level uh, on it. All men are my servants. So this this map specifically isn't. Uh, that foreign to me, uh, to use a correct word. He's not going to run away anymore. Good to know. I, I would rather hope so, because I'm the one controlling him. Hell, he was never going to run away in the first place. I would not let him. He is mine now. How does that feel? Thank you. Oh, yeah. So much damage. Weakling. I just love all that damage. I love seeing so much of it. Hello, hello. Like, when people are in groups now, it's like, oh yeah, group up more, so I can hit more of you. I want you all to die, like so hard. I want you all to just group up, so you can all die at once. Like you guys, you guys think you're safe? No, man. I got magic. You guys hate fire, so eat my regular fire. Get wrecked, you little shit. Oh yeah, the professor is there. So the professor is really good because they're like the buff class. Uh, although I'm sure that 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 move, Metal Cook Hair, 
only increases everything by like one, jump by like five probably. Although I do wonder how long it lasts, if it's like a one turn thing or if you could stack it. So, and if you could get it on like a geo panel of a, like a plus one geo panel, have it be like a super um, OP move. Um, yeah, that's good. Just get you guys going, get you guys to the revenge. And then I'll just do that. I'll just pop you over here. Um, oop, okay. Hello, Professor. Would you like to taste my flatty dance? Um, yeah, I'm just gonna pop her over here. Pop a cap in his ass. Boink. It's like I don't have to worry about SP with kill yet, and it's great. Because the less things I have to worry about, the better. Of course, he only gets it back on a normal move, which I don't... Like, most of the time, like, if I'm attacking, it's with a special skill. Because normally, on most maps, you're not going to run out of SP. Hey! <laughs> Oh, that's funny. I'm gonna use this move to make me stronger so I'll be a better contestant. That way, like, people can't kill me as easily, and then just boom, and ability just knocks okay? her out because it ended the turn. Okay. Another demo. Hey, Lil Usa! Don't push yourself too hard. You don't want to die before you can get revenge. We're right here with you, Salia. Don't try to shoulder everything yourself. No, I can't stop now. My mother and father suffered way more than this. Salia has to step it up. If I don't, then I can't... I can't give any excuses to those who died for me. Why are you painting yourself into a corner? Usalia, aren't you a demon? Aren't demons... No. Demons definitely kick others out of their way. That is what they're like, right? A demon can't take responsibility for their loved one's deaths? I... I didn't say that, but... Even demons get sad when they lose their loved ones. There are times when they can't stop hating themselves. What is going on? Aren't demons supposed to be foolishly cunning organisms? But... What is this? Usalia, don't blame yourself. I don't think your family would have wanted you to do that. B but But Usalia won't blame anyone for pointing fingers at me. It's hard not to accept their blame, Blit. The only way I'm allowed to live on is if I constantly blame myself. Do you think your family, who risked their lives for you, would have hoped that you'd live your life like that? How should I know, Flip? No matter how much I'd like to check with them, I can't anymore. Uh. And, th and that cutscene on a sad note. Okay. Let's, Let's fix here. you up. Yes, please fix me up. What? What? It's such like a not cool ninja voice. Because like the, co like the ninjas are definitely supposed to be like the calm, cool, collective ones. This dude's not even wearing armor. None of these people are wearing armor. Anything. No wonder they're just staying here. I do need to do the get friendlier with plen uh, plein air. And you know what? Since we're here, let's try it. Let's see if I can get friendlier with her. Um, because now I am stronger. Still probably not strong enough to force it through. But I am indeed stronger. Like strong enough to possibly force most things. Like, he loathes me. Like, this this guy is not going to be changed. 
for a while. Um, spear. And it just... Yeah, just uh, giving you stuff. Stuff that you might want. What you want. You like monster weapons? I can give you monster weapons. There you go. Yeah, just, just take these things that I don't use or care about, because I'm not going to sell them. You like glasses? Uh, I don't really have those to give. A level 14? You can go to hell. I ain't giving you shiz. It's, even if I... Like, what I want is I want to get all the people that I have to worry about. I want them to... Like, the high-level ones, I want them to vote for me. That way, the low-level ones, I can just destroy. Uh, and I believe there is also a... I don't want to say a meta technique, but there is... Um, I believe if you do have someone who voted against you and they're attacking, and you fight them, and you throw someone who is a higher level than them... Uh, onto them and they support you, it gets rid of the dude who's against you. Not sure. Oh, you like armor. Yeah, here you go. I have a lot of these. See, this is what the item weld is nice for. Because they'll drop uh, one, items that are good. In, like, they'll drop, like, the... Uh, the gold bars and whatnot, or the medicine to get people not drunk, but then they just give you, like, going through it, like, over and over and over again, just amounts a shit ton of items that will be useful. Okay, good. And if I failed, now paying up is halved, so I could probably... I became best friends with Planair. Do I need to do anything more? Ugh. I need to become battle buddies. Oh my god. And that costs 10,000, so I really don't want to fail that. Oh my god. They, they're just making this a chore. Oh my god, I love them. Oh. Because you're like, oh yeah, I'm going to do it. it. Like, I'm going to have this person on my team. It's like, no, bitch, you need to you need to work a little bit more for it. And you're like, okay, okay, cool, cool. Get, get my hopes up, get my hopes Oh, cool, now I'm best friends. She's going to be on my team. Nah, man, you need to be battle buddies. You need to be better than best friends. You need to have each other's backs. No bitching out. You know a best friend is a best friend when they will spill blood for you. Me? Um, but there's nothing saying I have to use Killia, so. Uh, you know what? I will bump you up. I will bump you up. Those guys. I do use you, but 337 is quite a bit. Um, yeah, that's about as much as I'm willing. Uh, I mean, it's not. It wouldn't be hard for me to mine mana because I could just now that uh, now that I can put things up to 300 at this point with uh, how far I can put things down. But right now I have weapon mastery and special skill XP higher than others and money as a low thing. Uh, let's talk. So, uh, heard you super hate carrots. <laughs> yeah, so Red Magnus is misunderstanding it, but, uh, muscles won't become beautiful like mine. Yeah, she, she doesn't hate them, she just can't eat them. Which kind of sucks, because if you love something, like if someone told me I couldn't drink Mountain Dew or eat cake, I, I'd be so sad. And I probably shouldn't, because I'm trying to lose weight. But, uh, you know, when it's available, I'm not going to not drink it. Yeah, and he, his brain is just too tiny. It's like the size of a, I don't know, gerbil. <laughs> or another small rodent. Uh, they accelerate the curse, which will make her die faster. Uh, yeah, just ignore him. By the way, is there anything you don't like, Red Magnus? So he eats everything presented, even the plate. Plates aren't food, but that wouldn't, that wouldn't stop him. But, uh, one thing, like, uh, Zorogan says, oh, yeah, I hate carrots, but it's like, oh, man, I really like carrots. Carrots are nice. It's like, especially when they're in a soup, because it gives, like, 
because carrots are like smooth solids. And when they're cooked like just right, like I love I love my carrots when they're soft. It's like oh yeah, just, like I could I could squeeze like I could crush them with my tongue. That soft. I don't want to have to work with my food. I don't want my food to go fight back. Um. Okay. So what I'm going to do is end this here, and then come like right back, and we will do the next map. So. I will see all of you again in episode 27. I hope you all have a very nice day. Oh, you died because you're a bitch. <laughs>